What emotion is this? <laughs> Yo, why is she T-posing? <laughs> and welcome back to life is strange true colors we are going to be continuing on our investigation as to what could have happened with uh the accident quote quote with gabe uh but first i want to talk with charlotte and hope she's okay charlotte alex hey jed said you wanted to see me i just wanted to see how you were doing Yo, she's so sweet. Like, honestly, like, I know, I know this is Alex's brother, but think about it. That's her boyfriend too, right? She's obviously very devastated as well. And then dealing with the fact that Ethan almost died. Ethan is upset as well. Everything is very overwhelming. And the first thing she asks, like, hey, are you okay? Like, she's, you can tell she's such a sweetheart. I'm gonna say... Alex has been like kind of avoiding it, if I'm gonna be completely honest. She seems the type to be avoiding whatever is bothering her. I mean, we kind of know that her being very em uh, em empathic person. Yeah, I think she's kind of avoiding it for now. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, distractions help. Can we hug her? How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. He's pissed. He does seem distant. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. He needs time. Show him you're hurting too. Ooh. Okay, well, I don't know how to, like, go about this, especially with children who deal with grief. It's a little bit difficult to say what the appropriate measure is because, again, it's not even about them being a kid or anything. Everybody is different, right? Everybody experiences grief and trauma differently. And I want to assume Ethan is feeling guilty because I think he, he blames himself. If he wasn't out there, Gabe wouldn't be out there. None of that would happen, right? And at the same time, he may be pissed at me too because we kind of snitched on him. We told, uh, you know, uh, Charlotte and Gabe that, oh, he was planning to go to the mines. Show him that you're hurting too could make him understand but like i said i don't know if this is the appropriate thing because he also does need time that he needs to process everything and he has the right to feel angry maybe he doesn't want to talk he has the right to do that because maybe that's his way of dealing with it maybe sh ha having his mom show that sh she's upset too will make him understand like oh it's okay to be upset as well you, you know what i'm saying i don't know if that's what alex is going for but that's kind of what i'm hoping she is he's a pretty insightful kid he knows how much you're hurting, even when you try to hide it from him. Instead of trying to be strong, maybe the best thing you can do is show him that it's okay to hurt. That's really helpful, Alex. Thank you. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death is Gabe. Yeah, because he's that type of person, right? To like cheer everybody up and make sure everyone's what is okay. This? Oh, Typhoon. An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. That's what Diane was coming there for! In exchange for a payment. A big one. Hang on a second! Hang on a second! I just thought about something! Remember how I kept talking about every single episode? It seems like Typhoon keeps bribing the people of Haven. The police getting new motorcycles. Jed getting the Black Lantern. There's statues and all these memorial stuff outside from the beautification committee. Why would they be giving all that stuff to the people of Haven Springs? Every time they give something to somebody in this town, it's related to something horrible. Jed being with the accident in the mines, the mines collapsing, he saved 19 people. I bet they gave him the, the, the lantern 
in order to shut him up. And I'm not saying Jed is a bad person or anything like that, but he probably took it because from what Alex found in the in the old factory, he just got the news that his wife is pregnant with Ryan. So he's probably a new dad that time. He's like, oh, sh I don't know what to do. He, he might lose his job and everything. So he's thinking of his family. You go to the police. Again, I'm hoping that the police are not bad people because we don't know. Life is strange. It's shady with cops. Seems like Pike is a nice nice enough man, so I'm hoping that he's actually nice. They're probably bribing the cops to kind of look over what they are doing, because they're probably doing something illegal, let's be real here. Also, listening to the citizens of Haven who work there, they're just like, oh, how come they won't tell us what's happening to our job? Where's the job security? And now you have Charlotte. Here, I'll give you money, because you're a single mother. Also, she, she's a starving artist. She probably makes money, and she's, she's got an income because of her shop. From reading what we've seen on social media, and also Jed mentioning how she always skips meals because she's working on her art project, she probably needs the money, let's be real here so them be like oh she probably needs it she'll shut up if we give her a large sum of money i don't like that that's shady and i'm not saying you know if charlotte decides to sign it you know that that's her her opinion her whatever she wants to do because she has the right to do that but i'm just saying that's shady as hell that's so shady why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong they say it's an offer of good faith but you're right. Because it's also like you're you're signing a liability. Oh, well, making sure that off. you don't cause any liability to the company by Are saying, don't talk it? to the press. I don't know. Right, and I can't blame I'm her for that. To put Ethan first. She's a mom, right? I can't be what judging her either. Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? Take the money for Ethan to- Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm actually conflicted because like, I- 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 Like I said, I get what she- she's trying to- she's a mom. Like, I can't blame her for that. It's not- I don't think it would be a betrayal of Gabe because looking at how Gabe has reacted for the short time that we have known him, he seems the type of person to support the ones he loves even if he doesn't understand the situation or doesn't like it. I mean, look what he did for Alex when I told him about her powers. He was just like, you know, it's okay. I'll always be there for you. And like I said, I can't judge her for wanting to protect her son. But if we really look about this, I don't think it's a bad idea for them to take the money, but at the same time, she's not exactly investigating Gabe's death. We are. So we're not under liability to not say anything, right? Because they didn't offer us anything. It's relating to her and Ethan. Okay, this this people are gonna probably be mad at me, but I think it's okay if Charlotte takes the money for Ethan. Because who's investigating? Me and Steph and Ryan probably because I'm gonna talk to him later, but I don't want Charlotte involved in this for the sake of Ethan too, and Ethan might be pissed off at me because I'm sure he wants to figure out what happened with Gabe, but I don't want to put him at risk either because he's a little kid. So I think it'll be okay. I- oh god, I don't know. You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. You're Thanks, your Alex, mom. That... You're a mom, okay? Like, I'm not gonna Thanks judge her for this. You gotta do whatever you gotta that do for your kids. That feels scummy, but Ethan should come first. Right, let's see how she feels about this. I really- She said it's not betrayal. Still makes me feel sick. Same. But Gabe would understand. Right, and it's not like I'm saying, like, you, you have to be like, Oh yeah, okay, give me money. Like, I understand, but at the same time, like, Probably what are you supposed to do? more than my bus ticket. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna figure out why Max lying. Yep. Glass pipes are so cool. They're like... We're I don't know how much of an effect that that's gonna have get you high. on us, you know what I mean? I'm always here for you, if you need anything. Aw, thanks Charlotte. Thanks. Back at you. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Impressive. Oh, sanatorium. Built in 1990, the Qualfeather Sanatorium operated successfully until its closing in 1927. Under the guidance of Dark Dr. Martin Kellogg, over 500 influenza and tuberculosis patients were treated and cured. Oh, okay, so that's for TV. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money. Okay, let's see what else we got. I could totally paint that. I just 
Don't want to. Mountain Walker. Ooh, gallery exhibit. That's cool. These are my kind of discounts. A little steep. But can Aww, you really Aw, that's from Ethan. Dreams? Look at him. He's so talented. Nice contribution, Gabe. Gabe was here. Gabe. Aw. Okay, let's see what else we got. God. Put some clothes on. <laughs> um, try this big... Okay, what is this? Fire and sigh? How long does THC really stay in your system? What the F is that? It blows my mind that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't even leave the apartment. Haven Springs, Colorado. Silver Dragon Newsletter. Hey everyone, as you may have heard, someone very close to me has recently passed away. The last few days have been very hard on me and Ethan, but we're doing our best to keep our heads up. So many of you have reached out with kind words and that meant the world. I cannot thank you enough for your support. I'll try to open the store for a few hours every afternoon, but things will probably be a little sporadic for the next few weeks. Sorry for any convenience and thank you in advance for your patience. Your friendly neighborhood bud tender Charlotte. <laughs> When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Strainless. St Stavia. Is that how you say that? Blue Foria? Whoa, okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't smoke anything, so I'm not really sure what any of this means, but okay. Um, yeah, cool. Stairway to Haven. Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. That doesn't oh, surprise me. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Oh. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. A Zemi, you say? Hmm. I had to Google this because I, I want to learn more about it. But a Zemi or a Semi was a deity or ancestral spirit and a sculpture object housing the spirit among the Tineo people of Caribbean. They were also created by indigenous South Americans. So it says here, the, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong by the way, the Theono religion as recorded by the late 15th and 16th century Spaniards centered on the supreme creator god and fertility goddess. Their creator god is Yukatku Marokotia. Again, sorry I'm pronouncing it wrong. And he governs the growth of stable food and cassava, the goddess Atabira who governs water, rivers, and seas. Lesser deities govern natural forces and also Zemi. Baneo, the river giver, and Zemi, whose magical tears become rainfall. Spirits of ancestors, also Zemis, were highly honored and particularly of the Kakuis or sheep. Bone or skulls might be incorporated into the sculpture, Zemi, or reliquary urns. Ancestral remains would be housed and shrined and given offerings such as food. Zemis could be consul consolated by medicine people for advice and healing. During these consolated uh, ceremonies, images of Zemis could be painted and tattooed on the body of a priest who was known as a buhuiti or buhuitu. Uh, the reliquary semis would help their own descendants in particular. That's actually really interesting. I wonder if it has any like significance for the story. Because again, Life is Strange has always been that with symbolism stuff in the background that we don't really know. So if I can gather, maybe it's just for protection. If the, if anyone has any more information about Zemi, uh, please let me know. I'd love to learn. There's something you don't see in Portland. A cactus. <laughs> I really love Charlotte's style. Oh, yeah, I really like her artwork. It's so pretty. Okay, what else do we got here? Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. Oh, 100% because she's so talented. What's back here? Charlotte doesn't mind if I come back here, right? There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. That's a thing? Marijuana tea? Really? <laughs> Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. Weed. These bougie dispensaries are going to put all the creepy dudes named Jean out of business. <laughs> oh, we got something. Okay, hang on. Given the circumstances, I could definitely go for a few of these. Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip? Insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? I wonder why he couldn't sleep. 
I wonder if it has to deal with like Alex. Oh, Charlotte's office slash studio. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if it has to deal with um, finding Alex. And which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelies? <laughs> okay, I guess it's time for us to leave the shop. Uh, hope Charlotte will be okay. And I hope she's not mad at me for suggesting that she takes the money. Like whatever she decides to do, that's her choice. But again, I think it's best to look out for your son and make sure he's protected. Because I don't want anything to happen to him or her either, right? We can deal with the consequences. I will deal with Diane and Typhoon, but I don't want her and her kid to be involved. Okay, so um, the next place I want to go... Oh. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Hmm. Okay, the next place I want to go is Steph. Uh, flower shop will be the last thing we look at because, like I said, um, it's more so for the main storyline. But let's go see stuff. But that was weird. Was she, because remember those workers on that bench over there, they were complaining about how nobody was telling them what was going on. So, I don't know if she addressed that or not. But, uh, time Steph to go see stuff. the record store if I had time. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna... Let's see what we got. Helpful. Be back in five or ten. Maybe fifteen. <laughs> what the hell? Gabe was hoping I'd get back into playing. Maybe I will. Maybe we can. I don't know, though. Private mining interests will put their bottom lines before your family's health. You don't say. Kitty, Valkyrie, there you are. Do you hate me still? Val, I just want to be friends. Yeah, don't scratch my face off. I actually like you. You're a cute cat. Okay, um, let's see what we also got. Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. Another issue of legendary monster hunter Thanor. Another one? Time to pay a visit to an old friend. Snap, or should I say, an old enemy. You don't belong here, monster slayer. I'm not leaving here till I get answers. You won't be leaving at all. No, where is the sky sword? Fine, I'll tell you. The sword was last seen in the city of Canaris. Canaris was infested with war spiders. All who quest for that sword lose something dear to them. But I'm destined to save the realm of the sky sword. Good thing you, uh, you won't be alone. I'll win. Who's that? Okay, it seems like in the next issue, because like I said, this seems to be mimicking real life, Ethan will probably be investigating Gabe's death, which it doesn't surprise me, and probably confronting one of the Typhoon people. But who's that person at the end? Alwyn? It might be Alex, right? Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. True. Maybe I'll get to hear her play sometime. That'd be kind of cool if we could listen to staff like Hoodie Guy. The breakup section, huh? That's rough, buddy. Uh oh, yikes. What happened? How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. Oh, poor it's hard guy. To get music, but maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can do that, sir. I maybe maybe you should listen to something else. You know, Firewalk. I haven't listened to Firewalk. Firewalk now. was in Life is Strange Before the Storm. Anyway. That is the concert Chloe and Rachel went to. Do you guys remember that? That's why it looks so familiar. I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, there's staff. Hang on, I'll get to her in a second. I hope we all get to see more adventures of Thanor. Can we give this guy, like, some other, like, I don't know, record or nah? Wait, Chrissy? She's a dog? Wait, what? Have these masked critters taking up a- Okay, wait, wait, wait. found dog. Golden Retriever attacks as Chrissy, thinks she's small enough to be a lap dog. Please call me before my- Family gets attached? Wait, sir, what are you talking about? Hello? Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. Okay. What? I thought you broke up with Hi, your girlfriend. I'm calling about the lost <laughs> dog. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. I is she there now? Oh, awesome. 
Yes. Thank you so much. Can I pick her up today? No sweat. Take your time. I'll wait. Um. Thanks again. Me and Chrissy owe you one. Like, I get loving, loving your dog, but I don't know why that- Okay, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. Haven's favorite and only choice for modern rock. I'm glad Gabe convinced her to stay. Me too. We wouldn't be, like, hanging out with her if she didn't. <laughs> the smile hey, she I'm gets when she by. sees Alex. I've only got a sec, but... Okay, yeah, what's going on? Have you talked to Ethan at all? Talk is maybe too strong a word. I tried. He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. Yeah, that's a good idea. Why not? I love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Ooh, okay, let's see. Uh, Caravis, the Lord of Underworld, Sarmrider, the Undead. Oh, um, um, um. I mean, looking at his comics, they seem more like medieval, like, right? And something relating to a knight saving the universe. My opinion, the, the Storm Rider looks kind of badass. And he kind of looks like someone who would want to take over the world. So I would kind of like go with that dude. But also because I'm kind of biased, so I like his design. Very, very good design. Storm Rider looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I... I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what yeah. I can do. All right, I got you. All right, that was cool. Let's see what hey, else we uh, got. Hey, listeners, that was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike, but first, a few announcements. The Spring Festival is just around the corner. Spotify See what she has to Titan say. Mining Company. Ugh. Christmas is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Did she just drop the paper on the ground? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, let me look at her uh, comp list. Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Oh, Alex, fill in your character. The bard. Name. Race. Half elf. Class. Bard. Distortion field or healing serenade? Level 1. Health points 10. How did you meet Thanor? Aww. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. Do I get to fill it out? Alto Alwyn. Alexandra. I want to put Alwyn. Just because it was in Ethan's comic, I think he would like that. I think he would like that. How about a throwback to Ethan's old buddy? Also, half elf. You guys know me. I love Ability elves. Time. My favorite race. <laughs> Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Healing serenade. I feel like Alex would be like a like a healer type of character. Healing serenade. It is. How did I meet Thanor? Heroic story. Funny story. I feel like funny story. Well. Funny story would be more Gabe style because that's how I that's how he sees him. But I think Alice would fit heroic because she did save him, remember? So I I do bet Ethan does see her as a really cool person for saving her. So I think heroic would be really cool. It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. I hope it does. I hope he'll cheer up. Even if it's, like, for a little while, it's not a bad idea, you know what I mean? Okay, I think we got everything. Too bad I can't pet the cat, I'm kind of disappointed by that. 
All right, now we can go to the flower shop and try to look for Mac because that guy has been acting weird. Why does he want to run away? I'm not entirely sure why you would want to do that. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Got something on my phone. Hmm, I'm wondering what Steph is working on. It looks cool. I should DM her to find out more and see how I can help. This doesn't ha happen to have anything to do with your latest post, does it? Shoot, if only there was some way to find out. All right, final bite. Whatever it is, looks like it's gonna be shocking. You hush. <laughs> I think Ethan's gonna love it. Me too, I hope he will. Okay, where's the shop? Oh, the flower shop's over there. Okay, let's go. Hi, Eleanor. That's her name, right? <laughs> I forgot. Is she blind? Hello? Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Horrible. In case oh. you're wondering. I'm, um... Uh, adjusting, I think this is the appropriate term. Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Okay, this is so awkward. Is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Now, what was I? What is up with this lady? Is she okay? She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Um, can let me see if there's anything clues around. Hang on. That guy is still bad to the gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Why did she get scared all of a sudden? Like she was kind of zoning okay. out. Oh, huh? nothing. Just something funny Gabe said. That boy and his jokes. <laughs> yeah. I should get an emotional support dog. But like for other people. Oh god. They're multiplying. See what I mean? They're so creepy. What is that down there? Anger? What do you want? You want to make fun of me too? Like those other jock assholes? What? No. I, you made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's... First of all, we got third place, and anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's... Oh, God. Way to take the bait, Rai. What? You know what? Fuck those pricks. You rule, and I would really like to see your robot, if you want to show me. Oh, so that's probably when they first met. In high school, probably? And his friends maybe maybe were making fun of him? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's see what's up with her. Okay. Time to figure out why she's afraid. How does she hide all of this? Maybe that's um why she seems so like cheery, but she's really not. If that makes any sense. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, oh, is that Riley? Oh, that's so cute. What's back here? If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out. out, she can't, she can't find, out. find out. Find out what? Huh? What? Find out. Thank you, dear. We'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. Come by with the check when you're free. What the 
the frick is she talking to? Okay, um... Memories are, memories are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. Is she like having Alzheimer's or something? Or I don't know. The doctor the said doctor I had said more time, had time, but everything is becoming, becoming so, so out, of, out order. of order. She's sick. And I remember when we were talking to Riley and we were asking like, oh, she doesn't mind that, you know, you're leaving. And she's like, oh yeah, she's happy for me. If they know if they about know my about condition, condition, they'll make me close, make this, me place. close this place. Her condition? Holy shit. What the hell's happening now? She was like spacing out when we came in and she didn't see us. Fur walls. What is going on? It's not just that she forgot what she was doing, she's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Reading cards. Oh my gosh, everything is spelled weird. I don't know if this is like a thing that like people experience when they're, they're they are having Alzheimer's because I really don't know. How does she hide all of this? Forget what you were working on. <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Retrace yourself. Ask Riley. Think harder. Focus on something. I don't know what to do. Like, retrace your steps? Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I, I don't want to keep you. No, it's okay, ma'am. You're good. Hey. I, I want to help. She's kind of weird, but like, you know, she's still like, a, I'm sure she's a lovely okay. person. What would Eleanor have done first? Okay, let's, let's go, um... Op open the shop, right? I don't know. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Uh huh. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Okay. So she opened the uh, opened the mail, but she is distracted. The only thing that could distract her, with, I'm thinking, is a telephone call, right? Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. Mm -hmm. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Oh, I love how the phone changed back. Okay, so the phone call... Can't remember who it is. Something relating to Riley or, like, her illness? Hang on a second. Let me see what else we got in here. Let me see. Let me see if I click that picture. If it will bring her back. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? Those flowers in the fridge. Okay, now let's get back together. Okay, that's good. All right. Um... Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. Mm-hmm. 
I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. Okay, so the lilies are back to normal. Great. Someone ordered some lilies. Um, the register, would that have something in it? I don't know. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. It should. There we go. See, who Mr. ordered them? Jedediah Lucan. Huh. Oh, Jed? Oh, Jed ordered them. Okay. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. There we go. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex. You're a godsend. I hope she's okay. Jed must Man, be hosting so some event. Ah, uh, it's probably for games, though. They're traditionally for funerals. It's for it's God. for Gabe. She doesn't remember. Oh no! Yeah, she. Oh shit! I don't know how to deal with this. How do you deal with somebody who does have Alzheimer's? Like, do you try to like explain what's going on, or you don't because you don't want to hurt them? But in the long run, like, what if they just remember? Because sometimes they can't remember what happened, and then wasn't doesn't that backfire? I don't want to be mean, but at the same time, I feel like I want to tell her. I feel like it, it's okay to let her know what's going on. I don't know. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake? I oh no! Missed it. No, it's okay. Cause see, she's gonna remember it anyway. Alex, I'm I'm so sorry. Hey, it's not. Excuse me. Oh crap. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to upset her, but, like, I know she's going to remember it, because, um, it will come okay. back to her. That sucked. Oh, crap. But at least I told her the truth. I don't know. I don't know. What is the appropriate measure to, to deal with people who do have Alzheimer's? She's I don't know. She's really hurting. But I yeah, that's the thing. Her. I don't like lying. You know, I, oh, gosh. That poor young man. <laughs> How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor. Oh man, I she hasn't told Riley like what's going on either. I hope it's good news. Purple Mountain Hospital. I hope so too. I really do hope so. It, it, it's good news for her. Damn. I know she's a little bit weird, but like like I said, I think she's a really nice lady. So okay, I guess it's time for us to get the hell out of here. Um, but she did say Mac Great like just recently left, right? Or something. To help fill the gaping void inside, we offer you our condolences in the form of this mass-produced card. Hmm. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? We'll see. Okay, anyone have any good advice for taming stray cats? Found this cutie in the trash cans, but he's crazy pants. So, that's a big cat. He's a chonker. Jasmine, that's not a stray. That's a mountain cub lion. Oh my god, be careful. They're very aggressive when threatened. Try leaving a door open. It may leave on its own. And if he's under my bed, broom? I'm calling animal control. Oh no. Haven Spins Realty. We couldn't be more excited to announce the new face will be joining the community soon. Everyone welcome Jack Stevens. We'll be taking over the restaurant next to the park. Hey everyone, excited to see you all soon. Welcome to Haven. Happy to have you swing over anytime you need anything. It's a trap. 
Oh, we got another one with Eleanor. Think about those times you forget what were they about to say or why were you went to a room or someone's name who you've met a million times. We call it a brain fart, which is a funny term for all the uh, synapses suddenly malfunctioning. In reality, it's one of the most helpless feelings there is. That's what Eleanor felt in the flower shop, only more so it was quiet, unknowing terror. It takes a special kind of person to handle without breaking down. Eleanor is strong, stubborn too, but strong as hell. If I wasn't able to see her aura, I may never know. I let her out of the fog. What a relief, but when she didn't remember Gabe's death and my stomach dropped about three stories into the floor, telling her was agony, seeing it all over her face again, like it just happened. Was the truth worth the price? I don't know. Thinking about it now, I feel powerless over uh, all over again. It hurts to think of what to, what's to come when I no longer know this place and all I hear are fading drums and I can cannot recall your face. Everything is becoming out of order. All my memories are fading. They'll make me close this place. Alex, I'm so sorry, but before I really did appreciate your help. Just hit me hard. Don't apologize. It's been hard for all of us. I hope she's okay. Didn't mean to upset her or anything like that. I just hope she's all right. This bridge, right? Wait. Oh, Mac. There he is, son of a bitch. I'm so fucked. Can't Why? Can't from me forever, Mac. What'd you do? Mac. Huh? Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You no, none of it's a good time. What happened to Gabe? What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? I don't care! Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe too? I didn't. I asked you what happened. Are you deaf? Ooh. Should I try to sympathize with him so that he'll answer me or just call him out on his bullshit? Look, I'm not his friend, but I feel like if I try to do the gentle approach, maybe he will say something, but we already know he's fucking lying. I get it. He died on your shift and you're freaked, but you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Sir, that is a lie. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Why? Do you know something that we don't? Something definitely has him scared. If I could just push him over the edge. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Um, I already looked at everything since, you know, we did it in the last episode, so I think we're okay. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. So then why are you scared, sir? <sighs> Fuck off! <sighs> Leave me alone! What? What? Oh, he probably thinks like everyone is staring at him. You know what I mean? Because we see how he sees the world right now. with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Yeah, that's fine. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. He probably doesn't want to tell us because he's afraid, like... I saw Mac run down that alley. Oh, so I can't really go anywhere else? Okay. Um, but yeah, he probably thinks, like, he can't Mac say anything feels because... Like everyone's staring at him right everyone thinks i killed him they all hate me killed by loser oh shit it's not fair keep your mouth shut i didn't do anything wrong 
the rest of your life. Do not tell a soul. What does that say? Warning will not be given. Make one mistake. We will find you. Always watching? What the fuck? Okay. It should have been you instead. Alex? Uh, sorry, Riley. I'll be back. No. What the hell? There are people out there. No, I told you to call it off. Huh? So he did hear get the call. I he did. I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Made a mistake. Typhoon is pressuring you. It's about revenge. You were jealous. Okay. None of these things. I don't even think it's a mistake either. This dude is being blackmailed. As much as I don't like him, because he's still an asshole, but like, I knew there was something shady. It's not him. Typhoon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? Don't do it! I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. Right, so don't cover it for this. them! Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Do what I do. Cave and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Dude, dude, first of all, chill out, please. I think I can calm him down. But does he deserve it? Oh, God. Okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. I get, you know, I would love to beat this man's ass again because he keeps lying on Gabe. And also the fact that he was acting like a dick to Riley. Riley doesn't deserve that. But here's the thing. If he's actually innocent, then I'm not going to, like, make him suffer for that. He can suffer for the things that he has done wrong. But if it's something he hasn't done, it's not my place to, like, do that to him so i'm gonna try to help him because also if we do try to help him we'll probably get more information you know also come on alex All you're right. a good person mac come on you gotta calm down okay dude stay with me i know what it's like to be doubted to have everyone think the worst of you but the truth will come out I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? Come on, dude. <sighs> Thanks. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> Great. Yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> So, what are you going to do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm going to get to the truth. Yikes. Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm glad that we kind of calmed him down a bit. Um, I just hope Typhoon doesn't get to him. That's what I'm kind of worried about. But they didn't need it anyway. Why would they do that? That doesn't make any fucking sense. You willingly are risking killing people. Why? Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? 
Who is this, Ryan? Because we haven't talked to him yet. Okay. I, I really need to talk to Ryan. He's still here. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He, told he got me. the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep coming here and playing it back. Ryan, no! But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. I'm gonna cry. It's not his fault. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. He did save us though. He saved Alex and Ethan. But I know what he was thinking like. He, sh he could have done more to save Gabe, but the thing is, like, nobody knew that this was coming. Also, all those damn boulders coming down and knocking Gabe in the head. I, I kept saying that's probably what, what probably killed him, was that impact hitting him in the head and then knocking him out. But, like, it does- I- oh, God. You saved Ethan. You saved Ethan. That kid is alive right now because of you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. Ryan, no! You're braver than me. Neither of us is worthless. How could you have known? I don't know what to say because this is hard to like, you know, he has the right to be angry and I get it. That's his best friend too. Like, can you imagine like just losing your best friend like that and then thinking like, yeah, I'm the one who cut the rope. And that's what caused him to fall off the cliff. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless, but we saved Ethan and you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead. Because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. No! Dude, you gotta forgive yourself. It's not even about Gabe or us or whatever. It's about him. He can't accept the fact that what happened. There's only one person holding you responsible for this, Ryan. You need to forgive yourself. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> oh, Ryan, no, don't cry. You're gonna make me cry. 
<laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad because like I bet also he's feeling a little bit of pressure because his dad is a, like a hero to saving people from death. I feel like he has a responsibility to do the same as his dad too, right? There's a guy in a gorilla suit. <laughs> oh god! Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no, he chases a guy in a banana suit. That guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh... Once again, terrible. I forgot tissues because I'm an idiot. Uh, place. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be crying yet. <laughs> yeah, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Yeah, it sounds like Gabe. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. Yeah. Oh, God. How did you know? He told us. We could just say that. He told us. There's something you should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. Oh, is she going to tell him? I think you would be understanding too. Sort of weird at first. I really do. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Think of something infuriating. Think of something scary. Think of something s infuriating. Okay. Think of something that makes you so angry, you just want to scream. You can really focus until you feel it. <sighs> the wasted potential. You're angry for me for Ethan and Charlotte, for everyone who had their futures with Gabe stolen. Wish you could have been there with us. There was no one in the world more fun to be around. <laughs> Man, this one time. <laughs> Wait, what's happening now? <laughs> glowing like that. I see Jesus. What's going on? I'm getting text messages too. Thinking about right now. Don't stop. Okay. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? Messages, my bad. Let's like take a look at this first before we continue. <laughs> Thank you all so much for your support over the last few days. We have we hope to have the silver dragon back in operating normal hours again sometime next week. Thanks for the update. Excited to stock up. If any if you need anything to help up with Ethan or anything else, let me know. Glad I was able to help. Found Chrissy. He has been kisses. wreaking havoc in Mrs. Crawfield's flower beds and she's home safe now. I'm glad you found her. Give her a big wet kiss for me. First dog kisses to go to the girl from the record store who helped me track her down. Alex. Damn, the legend grows. We're going to send him off right this time. Thank you to everyone who showed up today. Sorry for how it sh uh, shook out. What would we say to one last send up? Do it right this time. Sounds like a fine idea. Actually, I have an idea. Can we all meet at the bridge at 9 p.m.? I'm there. Me too. Bridge at 9 it is. Aww. Okay, let's see what's going on with Ryan. Must be a 
good memory. Yeah. I wonder if I can piece it together. Okay, let's see. Uh... Shovel. How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> The what the hell are they doing? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? Uh, I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> Is that like a turtle or something? Oh, that's a lot of blood, huh? Okay. This is serious. Killing a Canadian <laughs> goose is a violation of international law. <laughs> what is going Shut on? Up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The, the crown of? Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> Gabe, goose. I see it. It'll move. It's oh, not so he killed. It'll move. Gabe. Did they kill a goose by accident? And then he. Oh, I see. And then he buried it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay. Also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well. They are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? I'm basically some kind of superhero. I'm basically some kind of freak. Now I'm gonna go with Gabe, what, what Gabe called her, a superhero. So... I guess I have this power I can see other people's emotions they show up like an aura and if I get too close I I feel what they feel as if I was feeling it myself mm -hmm. and when I focus I can even understand why they're feeling it And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But that... that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe. Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? That's what we gotta we figure out. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? Apparently so. It's for Gabe. You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. Oh my god, I don't want to give him the wrong impression because you guys know me. I'm going to go after Steph during this playthrough. I do think Ryan is super cute. Like, I'm kind of tempted to romance him too because like, he's super cute. Is it weird that I want to hug him? I got to handshake him though. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry, Ryan. Okay, but then. I Team up. 
to the buddy cop thing. <laughs> You're a loose cannon, Chen, but you get results. <laughs> <laughs> I know that that's probably a turning point to like romance him. I'd love to check out Ryan's romance later on, but I want to do stuff for my first playthrough. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, I was so messed up, dude. He changed my life. Said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find, it's something you build. still around here Jesus Sorry. <laughs> interesting how she's not giving him I know she doesn't know him but it's weird you know what I'm saying joyful reaction with uh, us saying that about gay but for some reason that lady didn't so that means she has something to hide okay guys i'm gonna end this episode of life is strange true colors right here i am glad we got some confirmation because i knew that mac wasn't a lying about him getting the call He's still an ass, but I know it's not his fault. So I'm, I'm glad we cut him some slack. I'm hoping that later on maybe he can help us. Because um, I, I feel like he would probably want to clear his name and also to make sure that Riley knows that he's not a murderer. Adding on top of that, we got confirmation that Ryan is going to help us. Also Steph, because she did say that she would want to help as well. I hope Charlotte isn't mad about me suggesting that she should take the money. It's just for the sake of her and Ethan. And then Ethan as well. We don't know how he's going to feel about everything because we haven't really talked to him yet. Um, but I'm glad we're getting somewhere with the story. So that typhoon lady at the end there, Diane, she's getting scared. We're going to find something out about her. I just know it. It's just interesting because she's technically like 
a new person in town too. She's only came here six months ago. So like nobody really knows her. So I do wonder what kind of secrets she's hiding. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Life is Strange True Colors, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next episode of Life is Strange True Colors. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!